think there's a lot of really fantastic, very different flavors you can get in Malaysian food. And those flavors, those ingredients have, have applications outside of Malaysian food as well. Things like kefir lime leaves, belacan, ketchup manis. They're such unique, interesting flavors, but they're not so niche that you can't have them in your larder. Welcome to uh, the Waitrose Cookery School. Uh, this is obviously the Malaysia kitchen night. Um, I'm Tim Anderson, the guy in the photo. I won MasterChef this year. We're gonna do three dishes today. Um, we're gonna be doing otak otak, which is a fish mousse. Um, then we're gonna be doing nasi goreng, very straightforward Malaysian classic fried rice dish. And then for desserts, a lychee tart tatan with a rambutan cream. Um, but I wanna show people that you can use Malaysian ingredients and uh, take your own, make your own interpretations of Malaysian dishes. To begin, uh, otak otak, which um, is a traditional Malaysian fish mousse. Um, basically, it's, it's typically steamed with fish and, and a sort of mousse, a custard in a way, made from coconut milk and eggs. I'm gonna dress it up a little bit, do a sort of French presentation with a nice cream sauce, some gurnard and scallops that are pan fried. Um, so it'll have the flavor, hopefully, of, of otak otak, but the look of a, of a quite classy French dish. Very good. Very good. Everybody's doing very well. Um, we survived the first course, which was easily the most technically challenging. We're having a good time. So yeah, it's going well. It's been excellent. It yeah. smells really, really aromatic, and I like it very, very much. We're having nasi goreng, and it's pretty much a straight nasi goreng, that being the Malaysian fried rice. Uh, but we're going to use some smoked mackerel, from Scottish smoked mackerel. Uh, just because that smokiness and that fishiness works so well with the spicy, salty, sweet flavor you get from nasi goreng. Nasi goreng always has belacan, sambal, ketchup manis, um, chilies, of course, uh, and, and Malaysian rice. Those are the key ingredients. So the macro goes really well with, with fried rice, actually. And um, you need to go find those um, Malaysian soy sauce, though. Yeah, it's very good. Um, we're doing a tart tatan made from lychees. Uh, it's not a typical tart tatan. You can't cook lychees in the same way you cook apples, so it's it's a, it's a cheats tart tatan in a way. Um, and then we're doing it with a rambutan cream. It's really nice to hear somebody professional like, explain the nuances of um, how to do things properly as well. I find that really helpful. It's fun to be teaching people how to cook. And I do my best, and I think usually it goes pretty well. And I just I hope that people, um, at the very least, they learn a bit about some new ingredients and are exposed to new flavors and think about ways they can use them in their daily cooking. I've never cooked with sambal before, it so is. it's great to actually um, you know, learn about a new ingredient. A, I think the intention is, is to get people to know how to use the products, yeah. you know? Then, and then when they know how to use it, yeah. and then you teach them how to use it and then apply the application of the products. Absolutely. Then we draft them to buy it and then utilize it in the house and hopefully through this word of mouth, tell their friends how good this product is so yeah. On, yeah. I think that food in a way is a lot like language uh, because people use it to sort of make sense of the world around them and if you can try and get your head around some of the ingredients and the techniques that are used in another culture, be it Malaysian or whatever, um, I think you get a lot closer to understanding how the culture operates and how the society was built.